so we are back in the greenhouse and today I have some pest control to, to deal with um, and I'm trying out a new um, pest treatment spray so anyways this here is my Sephora Postrata um, it's got these really dainty leaves. I actually killed one of these the first time I got it. And then this is my second one and they're not cheap either. But I really, really, really love this plant. So I wanted to give it another go. And this is what's left of the second one. It used to be quite a bit bigger. Um, I'm, if you guys have grown this plant before, please let me know what your secret is to making it or keeping it happy. Um, I managed to savage this much of it. Um, it was actually much sadder before, but I managed to get some green leaves out of it. But then I noticed, <gasps> what is that? That is a mealybug and I don't think it's focusing. It's okay, you can kind of make it out. It's like really big right there. So we're gonna treat that um, today. I'm gonna treat the whole plant. Don't know what's gonna happen or how it's gonna react, but um, why not try, right? And then I also have here my pink princess philodendron. This is my what's left. I propagated this plant so many, so many times. I don't even think this is the original mother plant. I think this is a cutting, um, and I sold everything else. So this is what's left, and then I noticed. That's got mealies too, wonderful. So we're gonna treat this too. This is my, what I got to try. It's, I got this from Amazon. I bought this with my own money, so it's not like, they didn't send it to me or anything like that. I was just looking up some treatments with neem oil in it. And I hate the smell of neem oil. I have the neem oil concentrate and I used it, I think, a couple times on spider mites back in the days when I still had alocasias. Um, it works really well um, on spider mites. And I think I saw someone use it on just any pest in general, I think on mealies too. So I thought, let me see if I can find something that's kind of like a mixture where there's some sort of uh, other ingredient in it that can mask the smell of neem oil because I really can't stand the smell of it and then I found a couple on Amazon this was one of them this is from a brand called bless your soil um, it's called big leaf energy which I really like the name of it says it's an organic wellness and shine for plants spray um, so it says it has, it has a list of ingredients, I think. Oh, here's the ingredients. Distilled water, organic cold pressed neem oil, organic vegan soap, super blessed organic essential oil blend. Anyways, I think it's the oil blend that's gonna mask the smell of it. So we're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna shake this up. Um, I read the reviews, it seems to be good. Um, I'm obviously getting this mainly for treatment of pests. Not so much the leaf shine, but if it does that too, why not? We're gonna give it a go. I have some Q-tips here. I think you can see where the mealy bug is. Yeah, it's right there. So I'm gonna just shake up the spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get that big mealy first. There's probably more somewhere. Okay, so it smells pretty much like essential oil. So I'm gonna cover everything. Soil, everything. Um, I am gonna repot this anyways. Um, once I get my, what is it? tree fern fiber I'll be doing a repot so we're just gonna treat it for now 
think that's mealy right there too. That white spot there. So we are spraying everywhere. It smells pretty good. What does it smell like? I don't know if I should be wearing a mask or not, but um, it smells like peppermint. I don't know. I definitely smell peppermint of some sort. So it says to let it sit for three to five minutes. I think that's what it said on the bottom. Yeah, three to five minutes and then you can gently wipe it off. I guess you don't have to wipe it off. You can rinse it off if you want or you could just leave it, I guess. Um, but just make sure it's not in full sun or anything. I'll prop this up actually. Yeah, let me do that. I'm gonna get a stick and prop this up, like a chopstick or something. So, I think I'm gonna treat this a couple more times depending on... Yeah, I see. I see. Uh, some, whoa. Yeah, I see a lot of mealies here. I'm actually gonna chop this leaf. Whoa! You see that? It's like hiding. They love, mealies love being in a, like new growth. They love it. It is literally their thing. So that kind of. I need to prop this up. I can't get rid of it. doused it <laughs> it's on every leaf of the stems I even sprayed the soil as the instruction said to do all right we'll see how it goes this leaf is beautiful it's actually one of the newer leaves um, however the next leaf on it has nothing <laughs> so I'm not sure um, I think once I get this plant nice and healthy again Depending on what happens, I might sell this too. Um, this is another new leaf down here on a different stem. This is on the other stem. That one looks really nice too. Um, but then the new leaf, I have a feeling, is not going to have any variegation. Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens after I treat it. Um, I think I am going to put a stake in here. Okay, so let me get that. Be right back. Actually, before I stake the philodendron, I think I'm just going to treat this guy first because I don't want it sitting any longer with the muley on it. So, you guys can see. Let's start spraying. Q-tip. Okay. Just double check to see if there's any more mealies. Oh uh, uh, yeah, I see it. A spray. Spray it in here too. Gotta get in the crevices. Can't wipe those leaves because it's so tiny. So, um, I might just get a spray bottle and just spray it off. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and get um, the steak and get a spray bottle. 
So I got just some takeout chopsticks. This is just temporary. So I'm gonna. So this is the piece I need to stake up. I think I'm gonna put it. I'm just using a twist tie. Okay. Now I'm gonna wipe down the leaves. I have a feeling there might be some mealies in this new unfurling leaf, but nothing I can do about it right now because I can't really spray it all the way inside. Okay, so that is the plant. I have fully cleaned it and we will keep an eye on it and see what happens. Okay, so it's definitely been three to five minutes already, so I'm just gonna spray this guy down. Good morning everyone. So it has now been um, over a week I think since I first sprayed these plants so I wanted to take a look with you. Um, this is actually the first time I'm checking these plants again so I'll do it with, with you all together. Um, I don't know if there's any mealies so we'll take a closer look and see. So. Let's take a look at the Pink Princess first. This is the new leaf, the newest leaf that I showed you guys last time. So the only thing that I noticed was here, this new growth here. As I mentioned in my previous um, segment, when I was spraying it, a lot of the mealy bugs like to kind of stay around the new growth um, I guess because it's tender or whatnot so it's very difficult for me to spray in there if there is a new growth on its way so as it emerges I'll I'll start to be able to see a little bit better if there are any mealies now there seems to be a little a little white dot I don't know if it'll focus right there you see there's a little white dot there so I'm not sure if that one is alive or not. It does look like it could be a mealy. So I'll just, um, because I am going to treat it again today, I will just use a cotton swab and swab that out as well. And as this leaf emerges, I will probably have to take a closer look then. Okay, um, but I don't see any mealies anywhere else um, so I think when I filmed it last week 
this new leaf did not come out yet it was on its way out and I was saying that oh I don't think this is gonna have any variegation and I was right um, it barely has anything um, yeah so this would be where I would suspect there to be new mealies if there are any that was hiding in here last week when I couldn't you know I couldn't spray in the emerging leaf so I'm gonna take a look yep I do see one right here so I'm gonna flip this leaf around there right there mm -hmm. that's a mealy right there right there okay I don't think that I see any other mealies which is a good sign that the only mealies oh Wait, I think I see one right there. Is that a mealy? Yes. Okay. So I do see one right there. Okay. Oh, it is moving. So now it's on the root. So I am going to get that one. There it is on the tip of the root. You see it moving? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna get that one really quickly before it runs away and I miss it. So I brought my spray out and I'm just gonna spray that real quick. Now I used to um, I used to treat this and I still kind of do with alcohol like most people the reason why I'm choosing a different treatment is because it just wasn't working like it wasn't going away it just kept coming back no matter how many times I spray it so There was one more that I said, yeah, on the new growth here that I wasn't sure if it was mealy or not. Um, yeah, that was a mealy. So the one on the new tip here, the new emerging growth. I suspect there will be more in here. Um, because the new leaves, unless there is absolutely no new leaves emerging, and I can spray them all then I won't have an issue like I can maybe maybe then I can get them all um, but as long as there is an immersion leaf there could be mealies hidden in there and then I probably won't be able to get them all unfortunately okay I'm just gonna cut this root it's really weird it's growing like So I'm going to go ahead and spray this whole plant again. I suspect I'm probably going to have to do at least two more treatments and then we'll see. Actually I suspect that <laughs> they will keep coming back. We can try. Okay. I'm just going to keep...
This new leaf wasn't as bad as I thought the I thought it was gonna be. Remember the leaf I unfurled um, last week and it had like tons of mealies on it and I had to get rid of it. So I just honestly I just couldn't deal. So Alright, so that is that. I am gonna let it just sit for five minutes or so and we will go rinse it off again like last time. Now let's take a look at the little Sephora pastrana. Okay, there we go. There it is. Okay, let's take a look. Um, So I am seeing some white um, over there. I think that might be Amelie. Um, again, I am going to just do a whole spray over again because I'm just not sure there is new growth coming out, which is nice. But at the same time, I think that might be Neil. Hold on. Right here on the tip here. Can you guys see that white stuff? That might be Mealy too. Um, I think this is Mealy too, actually. Oh, I broke the leaf, but yes, that is Mealy on the leaf, on the new leaf. All right, so. Oh. So I pretty much defoliated the whole plant. So it's just branches now. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down. I'm going to spray down the pink princess now.
I will be repotting this um, pink princess really soon. Um, I'll probably do it on video if I can. Um, we'll see. Alright, so I think I'm just gonna leave you guys here. Um, if I do an update, it'll probably be an update that's a little bit later on. Um, last thing I do need to do is just spray that one down with water and then that's it. So I will see you guys in the next video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!